David and Ken are like open to, um, very open to their the actors' ideas and, um, you know, and sort of even if they, even if they, I think even if they really don't want whatever it is that you, somebody came up with, they still like allow it and get it and and they're willing to, um, you know, take a shot with just about anything and and uh, yeah, it was, it was it was made for a really fun and like. Uh, you know, you really truly didn't know what was going to come out of people's mouths, so it was a lot of uh, fun observing and fun watching on this set. Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston and George and Linda are New Yorkers, and they, they, they you know, it's very much a tale of the time. They suffer uh, some economic crisis of their own because of the because of uh, you know the state of our of our world and our economy, and they, they can't afford their lives anymore, and you know they lose their jobs and they can't get work, and uh, so they and they they bought a bought an apartment that's now devalued. They can't get their money back, so they sell it for what they can. They have no money. All they have is their car and a few possessions. They decide to go to Atlanta to uh, to live with with Paul's brother, played by Ken Marino, and. Uh, and they and on the way there they, they find this bed and breakfast to stop in. They stop in this bed and breakfast and it turns out it's a commune and it's this they have this amazing night and they and they and they, you know, basically figure, you know, wh why would we leave here? They come back and they they decide to stay and give it a shot and give maybe this'll be what you know, this'll be what satisfies them. This'll be the way of of uh, of life that, that, that gives them a sense of meaningful life and the, and they encounter all of these um, kind of wild wild folks and uh, uh, hilarity ensues.